All right. Uh, you know, credit the Aggies. They uh, they were better than us tonight. I thought, um, you know, we had a real problem stopping them. It seemed like when we did stop them that the offensive tipped it back in. Um, we had a really poor time converting in the open floor. A lot of, a lot of mistakes in the open floor tonight. Three on two, two on one. Um, or drive baseline kick, you know, fumble it out of bounds. Um, and, and in these kind of games, you cannot make mistakes. We had 11 turnovers in the second half. Um, they looked more physical, stronger, quicker um, than we did on the interior. Um, just, they just did a, a, you know, just, just manhandle us, I thought, on the inside. Uh, high low passes in the first half, which we prepared for all week long. Uh, just were slow getting the ball, slow recovering, and uh, they um, they just did a really nice job of executing. Um, Genario Jones is a very good player. Um, he's a new new guy for them, who um, I think is going to be a terrific, terrific talent. Um, Chuba, I thought was quicker, more explosive than our guys around the basket, and did a really nice job. Um, Baker had another good game. He, he has played well against us uh, last year and this year. I thought we did a decent job on Huggins for stretches. Um, Omega, DA are guys that we obviously have to rely on to be not good, but to be great for this club this year. Uh, we have struggled trying to find a third score. Uh, we have struggled trying to find a fourth score. Um, it, it just has not been the same, and that's pretty much what we lost in the off season. And uh, we have just not been able to to um, to play with any kind of effectiveness offensively because it's a real struggle for our guys to to make goals. Um, I think over the long haul, we're going to have to be able to get teams in the 50s and 60s to win. But that's very very difficult when you give up 62 percent in the first half, which we did tonight. Uh, credit the Aggies. They, they kicked our butt, and um, we've got to go back to work and play again on Saturday. Any questions? Tim, you talk about wanting to find that third or fourth score, and Dion, you know. He had a, he had a half. He, he's had a half this season. He had a half. He had a half. And, uh, you know, give, give them credit. They scout, and got to him, and did a good job. But he's, he's had one half like that this, this season. And, uh, and, and we didn't expect him to come out and get 25 and a half tonight. you see him being in the starting lineup more consistently? Well, I, I, we'll see. You know, I think, I think you, you go back and you, you, uh, you look at every game and you look at, you know, these guys are young, and he and Kelvin, and, and you look at their mistakes and you, you try to teach and you try to coach them and you try to make them understand, you know, what they've got to do. So it's all based on, on practice and competing. It's not going to be based on this game. It'll be based on what happens tomorrow and Thursday and Friday. But like we said, we're, we're looking, we're searching. Talk about that late run at the end of the game. You guys didn't have a lead all night, but at least you had that run. Is that something to maybe build off of moving forward? You know, I, I think a loss is a loss. And uh, we were down 20 at, at home. And um, maybe they stopped playing. I'm not going to credit us right now. You know, maybe they stopped. Um, you know, we, we have got... Um, our own issues, you know, we've got to continue to fight through it. Um, got to play some error-free ball, but but we've got to defend better. I mean, at the end of the day, I am I'm so sick of giving up 62%, 73% from the three-point line and a half. Uh, it's very difficult to catch up. It puts uh, a lot of pressure on a team that is, um, is, is void of scoring to, to go down and score every possession without turning it over. And... Uh, and so that, that part of it, I feel like we, we can't attempt to control, and, and, and we're going to do that. Tim, you talked about your turnovers, mm -hmm. but your guys did get turnovers themselves, just couldn't finish. Yeah, that, that, those were the open floor plays that I was discussing. You know, a lot of, lot of open floor plays. I can, I, I can, on top of my head, think of eight or nine. Where we're, we're three on two, two on one. And, uh, and you know, that's always been something that I've, I've – uh, we spent a great deal of time on in, in, in recruiting. That's something that you recruit. I think it's a separation uh, at times of good player and players that need improvement. And uh, uh, we, we definitely made too many mistakes in three-on-two, two-on-one situations. It seems like 
at least the last couple of games kind of gotten out to slow start, 15-2 at mm -hmm. UNM. I forget what it was tonight, but yeah. what do you attribute that to starting slow? Well, the two previous games, it was, you know, 12-2 or 11-2 us. Um, I just go back to point-blank shots. We opened the game with a, a jump hook, Matt Wilm, three feet. Doesn't go down. They come down, jump hook, Wilkins, three feet, make it. Right, we go down, uh, Paul Thomas, double clutch, going to the basket, short arms it, misses, and they go down, score. Um, we've got to finish some of those plays. We've got to finish plays. Coach, you talked about Matt, and uh, in the second half, he took off that mask. Was it mm -hmm. just way too much of a problem? I just, uh, he, he has just not been the same with the broken nose. He was okay with the broken foot. But uh, he, he's having real problems with vision. He's having real, real problems with depth perception. He's having a real problem breathing, uh, as he continues to tell me throughout the course of the game. He just told me at halftime he wasn't going to wear it. And I told him that I, I wasn't in favor of that. And the trainer said he thought it was OK. So we'll see. But uh, you know, in, in fairness to Matt, this kid does not practice. He does not practice. He's not practiced in two years. and. Um, and he's trying to play, and it, it, that's, there's a reason why you practice, and, and it's just it, it's it's a bit much for him. It appears right now he's he's really uh, struggling with his confidence and uh, and his health. You know, in, in fairness to him. Tim, late in the second half, uh, the crowd really seemed to be a factor, especially in those last five minutes. Just your thoughts on how the guys respond when the crowd gets like that? Well, I, I'll say this, um, and I told our. Our, our players this, that they have no idea what basketball means in the city and, and what great fans that we have. And, and um, that, that the only way they'll really respond is with stops. Not scores, stops. And, and, um, and, they, and they watch really good defensive clubs for 38 years with Coach Haskins. And I realize some of those people are no longer here, you know, we got a new, new age fan. But um, you know, we, we've got a tremendous fan base, and uh, we, we haven't earned anything at this point. We haven't been very good. We recognize that. Those fake people that you saw there tonight are, are great minor basketball fans. And, um, and you know, I felt them when we made that little little run, and I think our players did as well. Is there anything on this team right now that you look at where it's just like, I, I have hope that this is going to get better? Is there any facet of this team that you... Yeah, I have hope with everything, every, every single phase of it. You know, that's why we coach. That's why we teach. That's why we practice. Um, you know, and, and, and you need, um, you, you really need toughness and, and you really need competitors. Um, and that's what we really need right now. And that's why we coach hard. Um, we, you know, guys in stances, guys diving on the floor after loose balls. I saw some of that at times tonight. But I saw a lot of easy looks. And, and, um, and that's, that's troublesome. And, and, and foot speed, Looks like an issue at times for this basketball team. Um, getting beat off the dribble, we're having we're, we're late to recover at times. So we'll experiment with a lot of things to try to help our team. Maybe we're a zone team. Maybe we just can't play man. Um, but that's been the pride and joy of my career forever. Uh, we've had great, not good teams, great, great defensive clubs. And uh, and this team, you know, we, we're going to have a real hard time if we're giving up 62 percent and a half. And again, credit the Aggies; they did a nice job. Is that a conditioning problem or a skill set problem? It's not a, it's not a conditioning problem, no. No, no. We just, we just have to do better in all areas, players and coaches. Uh, Tim, Paul's first first game as head coach in this series, mm -hmm. what did you think of the job that he did? did over a really there? nice job. I thought his team played organized. And um, I like their poise. I like the fact they weren't talking trash. I like the fact they stayed focused. Um, I like the, like the fact that they moved the ball, um, shared it. Um, their, their length was a real problem for us. They, they've, they've recruited very well, and uh, they, got a, they got a nice team, very nice team. All right, D, what did you think overall? Just intensity, lack of intensity as a whole. Um, you would think it being a rival game, it would be more, but just lack of intensity as a whole, and us as returners got to kind of fuel that and, and, and demand that. Talk about the late run you guys made at the end of the game. Do you think that's some momentum to build off of? Because I know you guys had no lead throughout the entire game. Is that something maybe as a team you can say, okay, well, at least we did that, so we can kind of move forward with that? Or um, Yeah, but I'm, me personally, I'm tired of saying that. We have momentum, and, and we could say the last game we fought and we had momentum coming. Like, we got to start winning games. Like, it's, it's point blank, period. And 
and it's like we're it's, it's just another another level of intensity we have to start playing with as a whole and me included as well as the captain of the team um, Coach talked a little bit about Matt Wellms' uh, health, and, and not only health, but confidence. Do you see that kind of deteriorating a little bit uh, as games go on with his nose not, and his, his foot injury? I mean, someone not, not playing uh, for the majority of the summer, summertime is when he works. So if you're not around in the summer and you're kind of just out there, it's going to be things and stuff. And uh, stints, we've seen the stints of what he can do uh, in Charleston, so that's an encouraging, but we uh, – um, whatever we can really get out of Matt is definitely what we will take. Definitely. Uh, what, what was it that kind of changed after the half? Uh, you guys shut down kind of their, their uh, going from 62% shooting from the floor down to 48%. What did you guys do a little bit differently? Um, really, Coach Brass had jumped into us, and it was more about just playing with intensity, um, playing with uh, a spirit for, for the fans, the families that come. and. You know what I mean, and, and paid with the concession on the all. It just El Paso was a hole, and then, and we kind of come out and, and do that. But I mean, we already dug ourselves in too deep of a hole. Um, mm -hmm. But it's just it's just from the start that needs to be demanded. What what's next? What what happened? What ne has to happen to get that win and break this five game losing streak? Um, practice, definitely practice. But uh, as far as me, I need to step up more as as far as in practice and demanding it more, which I will do tomorrow, and. Um, just try a new technique, really, and, and see what's going on. I guess one more quick question for you. Uh, just talk about the defense, how you guys gave up 40% uh, from three-point um, from three point land. Talk about that, and hopefully how you guys can yeah, improve yeah. that moving forward. Thank you. Um, intensity, uh, that's really what it comes down to. Um, you got to help. It's multiple efforts. Coach preaches that, and you got to help and, and then get back, and then you might have to get back to yours and guard someone that, that's uh, driving full speed at you. So it's, it's, a, it's a multiple effort game, and um, we're, we're not having multiple efforts at the moment.